I found out performing here that, you know, a lot of the people, they love physical humor, you know, they love it. People want to learn about each other. They want to learn uh, what's going on in their country, what's going on with uh, your government, what's going on with the, the relationships, how's the dating life, you know, all of these things we all share. Go ahead. So this is an Israeli Shabbat, and uh, it's like the weekend, like everywhere, I think, in the world. People are just relaxing, and if it's sunny, everybody's out, drinking coffee, uh, eat brunch outside or lunch. Um, a lot of bicycle and kids are going around, and uh, you know, just relaxing, you know, it's Shabbat. Tel Aviv is the little apple, New York is the big apple. <laughs> New Wayne, he just ate a hummus, a real hummus, warm with the, you know, the little hummus, uh, with a lot of good stuff, and a falafel, a real falafel, and a kube, it's like uh, with the meat and stuff. It's similar to South Beach in Miami, how South Beach has that strip of restaurants and hotels and like palm trees going down uh, the road. Uh, <laughs> very beautiful place, uh, Tel Aviv, very beautiful place. Uh, I love it. Uh, my name is uh, Michal, Michal Kirzon, Michelle Kirsten. And I do also stand up in English here. We are we're actually having of stand-up comedians, Israeli ones, who perform in bars, uh, stand-up in English, and we talk about life, we talk about politics here in Israel, and also politics in America. Um, Trump. We got about 30 people inside right now. I'm sure it's a lot of English speakers, a lot of you know, expats, probably some Israelis too. People looking for a good time or curious to hear stand up in English. Uh, we have some uh, some American comedians like me. We have some Israelis, and uh, everybody's funny. No matter where they're from, funny's funny, and that uh, should be a good time. I'm gonna give you everything. What do you want? Give you land. We're gonna give you food, electricity, whatever you like. We're gonna give you everything for peace. We are willing to have peace with you guys if you're all gonna die. <laughs> no, this is our country, this is Palestine. I've been doing stand-up for 17 years. I think 17 years, already 17 years. It's like 34 years. What's... Ah, this is the Chelsea Hotel. This place, it's like, you know the Chelsea Hotel in New York, you know it? So they... This is the original? Yes. Before Chelsea Hotel in New York, it was here. Ah, here, and then the Tzavta. They still. Oh, it sounds they, good, Chelsea. Yes. It's Israeli. What is it? So they, they took yes. it from us. Chelsea is a city in Israel, you know, next to Khadera. Between Khadera to Ber Yaakov. Hi, my name is Ari, and I'm a painter. And I decided to do something that no other painter before me ever done. It's to put skill back into art. Let's say, not since they invented the camera that you're pointing at me. I say, since they invented the camera, painters had to kind of uh, put aside the skill because the time that you need in order to obtain this skill or to practice in order to acquire this skill 
What kind of time is money, you know what I mean? Let's make six in one day. And that's where skill kind of left the business. What I'm doing, by letting people touch my paintings, I say when people touch my art, my art is touching them. And the sign, please touch, you see here? That's something that makes everybody understand why I'm an artist. The second they touch the paintings, they understand, they know. We all know what's in our hands since we're like three years old. So I let people touch my art and I do all my paintings using only one this little tool. You see here, this speckle, spachtel, spatula, call it whatever you want. Hi guys, it's my one and only paintbrush. So every little de detail, every little fisherman holding a fishing rod, every fish in a group, every fish jumping out, every one of those ladies turning into lions. You see the lion now? You see the lady? More you look into my paintings, more you're gonna find. And they're all done with just this, not a paintbrush to them. One spectacle. Does every little tiny man, every wave rolling, every couple kissing. Like you see here. She's picking up a leg like this, meaning it's doing something right. I'm trying to do something right. Put skill back into art and to do something that no other painter ever did before. Let you judge for yourself. Touch it. Enjoy it. You don't need an art degree. You just need common sense. It's about time that common sense will make a comeback into art. Fresh. With a blade. With a smile. That's all I'm trying to do. If you want to see more, just Google who is the greatest artist in the world. And then you're going to get to my website, www.thegreatestartistintheworld.com. Happy to meet you all. Bye bye from Israel.